I'm Carl Diefenbach. I'm the director of the Division of AIDS here at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at NIH. Over the next several weeks, we will post a series of blogs here at AIDS.gov related to the planning and future directions of the NIAID's HIV AIDS clinical trials networks. Currently, NIAID funds six large clinical trials networks focused on important research questions associated with HIV AIDS that work both here in the United States and internationally. The, the awards for these current networks are going to expire in 2013 and 2014. We want to build upon the success of our existing networks. We have a lot to be proud of here at NIAID in terms of the progress we've made. Because of the success we've had, we are seeking to expand our activities to the significant comorbidities associated with HIV, both domestically and globally. These are the obvious diseases like tuberculosis, hepatitis, and malaria. These diseases have such significance globally uh, that we think this is an opportunity to really have an impact on the, the epidemics. Our research priorities moving forward will get into areas of what are the new and important prevention methods that we can develop and prove that will have an impact on new infections for HIV? Clearly, that's activities such as microbicides and vaccines. What are the better treatments that we can establish for these co-infections and comorbidities, which will help us control the hepatitis epidemic domestically, for example, and the tuberculosis epidemic globally? Additionally, we're seeking uh, new approaches to the cure and functional cure of HIV. Through these approaches of combination prevention and treatment and working toward a cure, we can start reducing the number of new infections that occur annually as well as ultimately having an impact on the number of people that are infected worldwide. To meet these scientific goals, we are seeking to reshape the networks in a couple of very important ways. We want to first establish this multi-disease capacity. That's going to be essential. Second, we want to be able to increase the collaboration and coordination that occurs between the individual network leadership groups. Importantly, each of the leadership groups needs to be able to, to establish clear, transparent systems to bring in the best research ideas so that we can support the most transforming science moving forward. Further, we want to enable the networks to be able to establish research that is focused on the needs of very specific populations um, for the future. Finally, we want to be able to have the network leadership groups engage the community, uh, the affected community and the at-risk community in the research design and implementation. The blogs really will allow, in a structured way, um, people with an interest in this area to give us advice on first the overall structure um, and research agendas that we're seeking to support within these key areas of prevention, therapeutics, and vaccines. Then what we want to focus in on are the structures that we're considering as part of our networks. And lastly, the relationship between the leadership groups and the clinical trial sites where the research is actually performed. We are looking for thoughtful opinions and comments from people that really have, have opinions on what we should be doing in the future. There's a lot of experience out there in research, um, as well as people in communities seem and often know better uh, than people inside the Beltway. What we're seeking is this kind of information um, through the structured set of questions we will ask as part of each of the blogs. Um, your comments will help shape the future direction of the networks from 2013 to, uh, to 2020. It's hard to believe we're talking about um, that far into the future, 10 years away, but we need to start planning now because we really want to have what happens within the, the next round of the networks have a significant impact on the global and domestic AIDS epidemic. It's going to be an important conversation.